hi friends in the last videos we covered very clearly about language fundamentals concept and the operators concept two sections we completed already right so now the next thing very important thing what we have to discuss how to read the user provided input sir from the python program i have to ask the user can you please provide some input if the end user is going to provide some input how i have to read okay reading user provided input and i have to print something some output to output to the end user so how you can print output to the end user like so input and output these things we have to discuss sir that is our next section observe a bit carefully sir what is our next thing input and output statements okay this is the third unit what we have to discuss right okay yatha part of this one sir what things we are going to discuss sir do you know raw input and input there are two input functions are there one is input function second one is raw input what is the difference between raw input and input function most valuable important question for the entire room we have to start our journey with this concept right sir after the python 3 input function how you can use input function what is the behavior of input function in python 3 sir and after that of course multiple examples multiple programs we are going to discuss after that one small shortcut technique i want to explain how to read the multiple values from the keyboard in a single line are getting in a single line i uh, enter three values i want to sir read the all three values by using a single line of the python code how you can do that a beautiful shortcut sir that part I'm, we are going to discuss and after that command line arguments while executing your python program py test.py if you are passing any values 10 20 30 how you can read the, the arguments which are passing from the command prompt command line arguments we have to discuss sir next and after that sir all these things whatever up to up to four just we are talking about input statements right okay sir now output statements beautiful concepts are if you want to print some output to the end user compulsory we require to go for print function what is the behavior of print function what are various forms of pr print function is available we require to discuss right sir and after that sir what is the need of sep attribute separator attribute sir what is the need of end attribute what the need need of end attribute right sir next up printing formatted string how you can print a formatted formatted string percentage i percentage d something like how you can use that we will discuss next are replacement operators are a yeah, wonderful wonderful most commonly used operator curly brace open and close how you can use this operator these are the things what we are going to discuss so these are things are output related statements right so how to read end user provided input how to print something to the end user at the output this concept we are going to discuss in detail be ready to perform post mortem right okay sir the first sub topic let me start raw input and input sir there are two input functions are available what is the difference between these two things i have to discuss right sir can you please spell out what is the what is the first one sir raw input raw input okay this function can be used to read the end user provided data okay of course normal input also can be used to read end user provided data but the problem with this raw input is it is always going to return in string form only remember that the return type of raw input is it is always going to provide in the form of string only even you entered numbers also but still it is considered as a string type only compulsory we have to perform type casting by using the corresponding type casting methods right best example suppose my requirement is sir x is equal to ra ra input a enter enter some value enter enter some value some value like this i am taking sir sir now even you enter sir 10 also even you entered a number 10 also still it's always going to consider yes what type sir it is a str type only okay now we have to perform type casting sir okay now 
answer we have to perform int of x okay int of x like by using type casting function we have to convert that string type to our required type everyone can able to understand right so what is the raw input function okay what is the return type of raw input function sir it is always a string type if you can ask directly print a type of x print a type of x if you can ask sir it's always going to provide str type only remember that okay what is the type sir str whether you provided 10 whether you provided 10.5 whether you provided true whether you provided durga durga always what types are it always str type only this is raw input function sir sir now what is the next function what we have okay input input function sir this input function is always going to read the data from the end user and provide provide based on the value if the end user provided int value directly this function is going to provide int type only if the end user provided string value now this function is always going to provide string type only we are not required to perform type casting sir sir just observe that x is equal to input of x is equal to input of enter enter something enter enter something like this i'm asking sir now print of print of type of x do you know if it is the raw input function if it is the raw input function the type of x is always what str type only but it is the input function the type of x not str type always based on provided value if any user provided 10 then it is the considered as the int if any user provided 10.5 then it is considered the float are you getting if any user provided durga durga it is considered as str okay remember we are not required to perform type casting sir this is the main important difference between raw input and input are you getting that very important question for the entire room what is the difference between raw input and input raw input function return type is always str type only compulsory we require to perform type casting explicitly sir i want to read the data directly i don't want to perform type casting same type only i want uh, then we have to go for what input function any doubt up to this right raw input and input but here one small twist is there i didn't tell up to this right what is that twist is these are two functions applicable for python python 2.x are you getting right python 2.x these two functions are applicable right but in python 3 but in python 3 remember the in python 3.x maybe 3.5 3.6 3.7 in python 3x we have only input function but not the raw input function are you getting we have only input function but not the raw input function so simply we have only input function is there okay well sir first clarity what is the difference between raw input and the input sir raw input is always going to provide string type input is always going to provide the value based on our provided okay like uh, but uh, raw input and input this uh, terminology is applicable for python 2x uh, but in python 3.x uh, sir raw input function not available okay well now the next uh, twist uh, sir very very important take special care so in python 3 python 3x uh, we have only one input function that input function is this function right can you please guide uh, what is the written type of this input function <laughs> please spell out what is the written type of this input function sir in python 2x input function return type is based on your provided value if you provide int value int value now the return type itself will be int sir if you provide 10.5 float if you provide durga string then str type right same is this story is applicable for the python 3x input function or not okay take very very special care python 3x input function is not the same as python 2x input function okay python 3x input function is not the same as python 2x input function 
so python 3x input function behavior is a same as python 2x raw input function are you getting right in python 2x how raw input function is going to behave the same way python 3x input function is going to behave remember raw input function this name is renamed to input function in python 3x okay that's why can you please tell what is the return type of this input function whatever there in the python 3x is always str type only you provided any type it is always treated as str type only where is the proof for that where is the proof for that just uh, observe a bit carefully sir x is equal to x is equal to input of x is equal to input of enter something are you getting enter enter something like i have to take sir what is the type of this x print print type of x print type of x the type of x is always what type sir uh, the type of x is always what type str type only even you provided int value float value any type sir it's always going to consider as str type only if you want to if you want to convert convert into type compulsory we require to use explicitly type casting functions are you in the position to understand right so the input function whatever we have in python 3x it is exactly same as raw input function in the python 2x the return type of input function is always str type if you want any other type compulsory we have to perform what type casting functions okay let me execute this small code sir so that now observe that sir x is equal to input function i'm taking enter some value enter enter some value so end user can provide any type of value we don't know sir enter some value okay now just uh, i'm trying to print uh, what is the type of this x as per our discussion do you know the type of x is always what type yes yeah type only okay print uh, x value also that's all sir sir have you observed input function sir is can be used to read end user provided data next uh, it is always going to return which type sir it's always going to return in which format string format only have a look practical proof you are going to get sir observe observe a bit carefully here just one minute have a look once sir sir i'm taking py test dot py enter some value 10 i'm taking sir i know 10 is uh, what type sir i know 10 itself is what type it is a uh, int type but the answer is coming str type yes it is the str type sir now i'm taking 10.5 sir even 10.5 also it is a treated as str type sir if i'm taking boolean value sir true true yes str type only i'm trying to take durga sir yes str type only are you getting str str type only right so you provide any type of data the result is always going to provide which types are str yes, type only this is uh, what is the behavior of a python 3x input function right clear parala right so if you want the int value then we require to perform what uh, type casting sir so from this uh, discussion what you people should be aware what is the difference between sir python i mean raw input and the input function next in python 3x input function is exactly same as python 2x raw input function clear for all operate right? next why they give the priority for string return type the reason is the most commonly used type in any programming language is the str type that's why they gave the priority default default accepted form is always what str because simple reason it is the most commonly used type is the string type sir suppose i require to provide 10 values i want to provide 10 values but out of 10 values 9 values 8 to 9 values mostly string type only one or two values maybe other types that's why so very commonly used will be the default type so that's why str will become default type clear right